Good morning, CrossFit Lynchpin. Today is November 11th, 2019, and it is 6.30 in the morning. So there you go, all caught up. If there's any questions, please throw them out there. And I guess I need to start saying this, but these, I should say, welcome to another episode of Lynchpin Conversations because there's been an evolution in this media. So what we're doing right now at 6.31 a.m. on November 11th is an Instagram live video. So there'll be a couple questions that I'm going to answer, and then I'll take interaction from anybody that has questions out there. Just throw them out. Then we're taking these videos, saving them, putting them onto the CF Lynchpin YouTube channel, and then from there stripping out the audio and then basically making a podcast version of these which are available if you go to crossfitlinchman.com there's a tab that says podcast click on that and then all the available podcasts will be continually updated there so if you are listening to this as a podcast and it sounds like i'm answering a question from somebody it's because i'm looking at a screen on instagram so that's it be able to consume the media in any way that you want so once again, if you do have a question, go ahead and throw it out there. But today, I saw something about basically bad form, if, if you want to use that term. Bad form and whether or not it should or should not get posted or reposted. So as you can imagine, running the CrossFit Lynchpin Instagram account, I get a lot of stuff crosses my path. I get tagged in a lot of stuff. From videos to photos to just, you know, whatever it happens to be. And there was a couple that, a couple of videos and photos that I got tagged in last week. One specifically was a power clean. And this individual PR their power clean and their feet just got super wide, you know, like that just that starfish um, stance that probably most people after they saw it would be like, ooh, darn it, I didn't, I didn't want to receive the power clean like that. Ideally, I would have received it by going down instead of going wide. And then another was a video of a gentleman on a rower just with rowing technique that, that obviously anybody who was observing the rowing technique would say, you've got a decent amount of work to do. You're going around your knees, left and right, the pull's out of sequence, your back's not in the angle that you would want it to be at. And so, you know, these things, you know, people are fired up, they're not sitting on the couch, they're doing some fitness, they're following a workout, they're trying their best, and they tag cross a linchpin, and then I am left with the decision, do I repost this? Or do I not repost this? And so I guess my question to everyone out there is, if you were in my shoes, knowing that, you know, potentially everybody watching this Instagram video now is a, a wonderful, level-headed, rational, self-aware individual, but that's not really everybody on social media. So if you were in my position, would you repost videos or photos of individuals that let's just say look far from ideal with their lifting form, their mechanics, their rowing, their chicken winging out on their ring muscle-ups. You know, what would you do in my position? And there's no right or wrong answer, right? I mean, it's, it's highly individual, but I remember, you know, I've worked for CrossFit HQ for a very long time, you know, and continue to this day. And I remember a long time ago at CrossFit HQ, I mean, over a decade ago, there was something, there was some video or photo, you know, that we posted on CrossFit.com. And it was somebody who looked, I'm just going to say, far from ideal. And as I just said before, the internet is full of plenty of people that just are so they have a hair trigger. They are just so ready and with enthusiasm 
want to just point out a flaw in another human being. It just somehow makes them feel better. I don't know. The internet coaches are just working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're just, man, they'll point out anything that they see with relish. And so we post. I can't even remember what the photo was. We posted it. And of course, you know, the comments were just tearing this poor man or woman apart, tearing them apart. And at that moment in my uh, ever-developing career and awareness, I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know if we should have posted that. Like, that person doesn't look perfect. Don't post them, right? Unless they look perfect. And I had a lot of discussions with a lot of people that time, and we had some great debate, you know, back and forth as to the, the pros and cons of whether or not it should have been posted. And little by little over conversations like that and ever over just more interaction and experience in the community, I changed my position to very much. I liked the fact that I did like the fact that CrossFit.com posted it because it's real. They posted reality. So, okay. Yeah. They posted somebody that didn't look perfect. True. But most people don't look perfect. Overwhelmingly, most people don't look perfect. And everyone is somewhere in their development as an athlete. And and basically what I'm trying to encapsulate, you know, several different arguments that were had back and forth. And it wasn't that like, hey, we're going to post this photo of this person going very wide on their power clean. That's all we're doing. There's nothing more. There's nothing less. We're reposting and just saying, this happened on planet Earth today. We're not saying we love it. We're not saying that we hate it. We're not saying you should do it like this. We're not saying you shouldn't do it like this. We're saying that this happened today on planet Earth. There's a photo of it. Here it is. You go ahead and interpret it. However, you go ahead and interpret it. If you would like to interpret it as somebody with a, an open mind and kindness and, and probably realize that the person after they saw it was like, ooh, yeah, I wish my feet weren't like that, then you can go ahead and interpret it that way. If you want to interpret it with just biting sarcasm and animosity and a holier-than-thou attitude, well, then you can interpret it like that as well. And it took me a little bit to come around to that mindset, but once it did, uh, I, I enjoy that because that is reality. I've been at this game for a long time, and I don't move perfect even to this day. Sorry. And most people that I see videos of don't. But the other part is, yeah, you don't, you don't post that every day either. Like, of course, we're all chasing idealized movement. Of course. Of course, you should be trying to improve your technique. Of course. And the truth is that most people think they move so well. And then most people don't video themselves. And they see a video of themselves and they're like, oh, how I thought I moved and how I actually move are two different deals. And and anyway, it is what it is. So I am, I am of the mindset now that there are people all around the world embracing functional movement, trying their, their best to improve themselves, to get off the couch. And they might be catching their power cleans a bit wide. They might be going around their knees on the rower. They might have an early arm pull on something. But uh, my hope is that they are just in that phase of working on it and improving it, but that's where they are right now. And that's reality. And reality is what we're going to be all about, being real and being authentic. And so I, I reposted that one on the rower and I was just waiting. I was waiting to see if people would reply to that video. I was in on a story that we posted with any sort of just with comments that would make me unhappy that they posted them and make, but they didn't, I was shocked. Actually, nobody did. So maybe, maybe little by little, we are just developing some humble down to earth, earth, uh, self-aware individuals that realize beginners look like beginners, experts look like experts and, and, and everything in between. And, and that's that. So 
we will continue to post reality on CrossFit Lynchpin because we are fans of reality. We're fans of hard work. All right, let me scroll back and see if I missed anything. All right. All right, now if you're listening to this as a podcast, it's probably very boring because it's there's no conversation going on. I'm scrolling through the Instagram comments. Ken, all right, Ken chimed in what we got. I think that's a tough call, but if nothing else, showing varied mechanics shows the path we all take in our journey of fitness. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. I pretty much I pretty much agree. There's some videos I have of myself and my buddies working out in my garage in Virginia Beach, and I want to say it is in 2005 or 2006 there's like four or five of us three of whom now work for crossfit hq but we were all just total beginners right there and i see that video and i just cringe i cringe we had a tremendous amount of heart a tremendous amount of intensity and enthusiasm and a very low degree of technique (laughs) But we didn't we didn't know any better. We were learning and we hadn't immersed ourselves in a bunch of videos and analyzed ourselves and just it was what it was. Alright, let's see. I'm getting some yeses. Maybe people would have would have posted that. Rick, that's why I video myself. You're never as low as you think you are. Your elbows uh, probably aren't as high as you think they are, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. Are not as through as much as through as much as you think they are. Yeah, absolutely. Video is a uh, video is very very enlightening. Okay, well I think we're good. So it'd be a relatively quick one today. So if you again, and I'm still when the process of converting these and you know the the podcast, the Lynchpin Conversations podcast is probably only about one week old. I'm starting to backfill old videos and conversations that I have. So I will continue to do that. So head on over to crossatlinchman.com. There's a little tab that says podcast. You can enjoy them there. There's a tab that says private track. Check that out. See what we offer. Hopefully you like it. Pretty proud of it. And today is Veterans Day. So to all the veterans out there, a tip of the cap to you guys, men and women. And everyone still somewhere overseas, get home safe. And I will talk to everybody later.